Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and today I'm bringing you a tutorial where I'm going to be um, recreating what Bella from Bella's Craft Studio and from Rachel and Bella Crafts um, did for her part of the July collaboration. Um, we are participating on the A to Z of Inspire Summer Craft collaboration, which is hosted by Rage and Bella Craft. And there's around 25, 26 um, different YouTube artists and um, crafters that are participating on this um, collaboration. I'm one of them. And I'm so, so honored to be part of this July collaboration. And all of us have got a letter from the alphabet and we needed to, um, come up with, we had to do our own take from an old video. Uh, we needed to look for a video and, you know, to inspire us to create something new from that video. And, you know, we as got assigned a letter of the alphabet and you needed to come up with an idea uh, using that letter. Um, for Vela, uh, she got letter E. So she did like an altar envelope where she, you pull a card out of the envelope. And I'm gonna do my own take of um, her tutorial today. Um, I'm gonna do my own interpretation of what she made and she did her own interpretation from another um, YouTuber. And I think it was Eve's paid um the video that she used you know the tutorial that she used for inspiration for her project um i gotta leave a link below in the description box um for vela's um tutorial also i'm gonna leave the link tree um the link where you can find all the artists that are participating in this collaboration and we would like you to go you know ahead and take a look at each of their channels and their tutorial that they're going to be making i think right now we are up to letter if i'm not mistaken n um and i'm running behind trying to play along but you know i also have my own tutorials and other stuff going on and i also was you know kind of under the weather but I'm going to be doing letter E. I already did A, B, C, and D. So just play around, uh, you know, along with us. And you um, can participate in a giveaway that we have for this collaboration. Um, I think one of the things that you have to do is, um, you know, subscribe to each channel for each collaborator. And... Also, um, there's links for freebies and for um, the digital kit that we are using for this collaboration. We're going to be using the Summer Bloom Digital Kit um, created by Rachel Bella Craft. And I think is I don't remember her name, but let me get it here just a second. Um, it is line dot arrow arrow. Um, she did this um, beautiful um, paper kit. Uh, we're gonna be using and the name is Summer Bloom Digital. So on that link for the link tree, you're gonna have question and answers um, that you can submit. It's a form that you can submit questions and, and get answer from the team. You're gonna get freebies from Rage and Bella Craft, freebies from Line.Arrow. You're also gonna get all the participants' channels, you know, their link. Um, you're also gonna have a link where you can buy the digital key, you know, half off. And you can sign up for the newsletter. You can, you know, there's plenty of things that you can find there. Um, the links for the groups and everything, you know, all the information. So I'm going to leave that on the description box as uh, well. Um, please, if you can play along with us, you know, visit it, each of the collaborator channels and subscribe and show your support and participate on the, you know, giveaway that we have for this collaboration. Um, so let's start it. Um, 
I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be using. I have my envelope. I'm gonna use this craft color envelope. I got this package at Hobby Lobby. Um, the size is five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. And it's just the craft color from Paper Studio. They're 50% off right now. I also had this frame that I already used part of this frame on another project. And I went ahead and color, you know, paint the frame. It's just like um, it's cardboard. Um, and I painted this with my acrylic paint. And then I went over it with this wax, metallic, I'm sorry, metallic wax. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but it's, it have like a metallic finish to it. I don't know if you're gonna be able, my room is kind of um, dark right now because here in Florida it's getting ready to storm out. So my idea is to create like a pocket window on the front and this um, card is gonna be here for journaling space. I'm gonna be using, this is some of the paper from the digital kit. I already cut some of the pieces that I'm gonna be using. I'm not gonna show the whole um, collection because I only gonna use this part. I didn't print everything that is on the collection, but it's a beautiful, beautiful summer collection that you can get for half off on the link that I'm gonna leave in the description box. And once again, the name of the digital kit is Summer Bloom. And it's really, really beautiful. You have like vintage color, plus it also have like bright colors, like brighter summery color. I have these two pages that I'm gonna be using on another project, but look, it's a beautiful summer paper and you get, you get envelopes, um, you get, um, let me see if I have some, you get some, like, um, how do you call this? I'm sorry. Labels, and you also get sayings, like quotes. You get a lot of stuff that, you know, pocket, digital card, um, journaling cards and all that stuff. It's a really good um, digital kit. I also gonna be using, I have some flowers here that I may use. These pieces here, some are from the collection that I already cut to use in a different project, but I have them here in case that I need them. But this is part of the collection as well from the digital kit. I have also, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is kind of rough. Um, some tickets here. I also have this lace, well, it's a ribbon that I found in a thrift store and this applique that I may use. I also find this in a um, thrift store. So I have it here on the side, just in case. And you only need your glue, your glue, your, you know, let me drink a little water to see if my voice clear a little bit. To distress my edges, I'm gonna be using my archival ink and the color coffee. So let's get started. Um, please give us a thumbs up and participate, you know, on the sweet, um, giveaway and play along with us. And, you know, we're gonna have fun creating. So what she did, um, she closed the envelope and then she cut part of the envelope like the top here and she attached a piece of cardstock that you can pull, you know, from inside the envelope. It's like a pull card. So my idea is to use this. This was from a packaging. This piece here is gonna go inside and on the other side, I glue some graph paper and that's gonna be like for journaling space. And then on this side, I just gonna cover it with the paper from the collection, just to have one side with, you know, just to incorporate the digital kit on my project. And then on the other side, you will have journaling space. So let's start by gluing my envelope. And I'm just gonna glue this down here around because remember, we're gonna use this as, 
to get my card in and out of the envelope. So I'm just gonna close, just I'm gonna go around it, making sure I don't seal my whole envelope. And then the piece that I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut after I cover my envelope with my paper. And on the front, I'm not gonna cover my whole envelope because, let me show you. When I place this, to cover my window for my pocket, gonna go like this so you will not see the whole envelope so I just this is where I cut this piece and I just gonna use the rest for you know covering my envelope here but I'm not gonna cover this because it, you're not gonna see it when I put my window you know my pocket there so let's start by gluing this piece of paper on my envelope Let me make sure. You know, I should have put the glue on my, um, let me see, cause I want it, I, yeah, I want it like this. Let me cut this so I can glue it better. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. <laughs> it's easier if I cut the paper and I know where I'm gonna be adding my glue. You know. Sometimes we start creating and we don't, are not even thinking of what we are doing, but it's fine. Not like a big deal. I'm just gonna clean this here with my wipe. there and okay, now I'm gonna glue all this See if I need to trim just here a little bit. I like to use this um, thin hole scissors because you can really get very close to the edge. And my paper is gonna be upside down. Um, I don't care if this is upside down because I just wanted my pocket here and you know, no, my pocket's gonna go here because here is where I'm gonna cut. I'm sorry, this is gonna go like this. This is where I'm gonna cut this here. My pocket is gonna go right here and then when I put my card, it's gonna go inside this pocket like this. Okay. So it's, I thought that my paper was gonna be upside down, but not. Okay. So I'm just gonna do the other side. And I think I want this one. Just because I had that butterfly there and I had that other part, the other butterfly on the other side, that's the only that's why I want this one. So let's see. Make sure this is the. This one is gonna go here, like that. This is an easy um, foam project. I really enjoy watching Bella's um, video. 
I also start watching if um, Spade video, because since um, Bella used that one for inspiration, I wanted to see how you know each of them created their project. So from um, Bella's, I'm gonna leave her channel and you know the link for her project. So from there you can get. the link for you know the other um youtuber the other crafter if spade um link i was trying to think about her name sorry her name bella use if spade tutorial as her inspiration for this project that's what i meant i think i need a little bit of glue here on this corner And I'm using my fast grab tacky glue from Aline's. I get this at Hobby Lobby for $2.99. Because, you know, it's right there on my budget. And I really like that glue. Okay. So I didn't distress my edges because. I, I know I, I needed to trim some of my paper, so I'm just gonna do it here real quick. Before I forget. I think I need a new um, brown ink. This one is so old. Still can use it, but it's not as juicy as it was <laughs> when it was new. And I think I had this for a long time now. I may need to get some new one. Okay. I'm gonna put it aside. So. Okay, so let me measure. Where am I gonna cut? Right there. And this is what you're gonna pull, you know, from the side, it's gonna be your pull cart. Make sure that I'm the right line here. So now you're gonna have this opening here and that's where you're gonna place your cart. And this side is perfect, let me see, for my envelope. Let's see if I don't need to cut it. Yeah, I need to cut this down. So when I place it inside my envelope, it will go up the way. Oh, no, look, it's perfect. So this is, your, I'm gonna glue this piece down and this is what you're gonna be pulling up and, you know, in and out. So let me see my envelope, no see it correctly, yeah fine. Oh, it's this piece of paper here. Let me add some glue on the corner here just a little bit. So I'm just going to cover this with my other piece of paper. You can use your glue stick, but since my packaging here is 
thicker than cardstock. It's like, I, I guess this is, um, how you call that? My goodness. Sometimes I can think. Cardboard. Because it was from a box. This piece of uh, cardboard came inside of my, the wet food for my kitty, my kitty, my kitty, my kitten. I'm just gonna trim it. I wanted to print more of the digital kit, but I'm having problem with my printing. My printer is wireless and it's not connecting to the internet, to the Wi-Fi, so it's not printing. I think I may need to get a new printer because I've been trying to fix it, but nothing is working and I really, really want to, you know, to print more of this paper kit and I haven't been able. I already printed for my project that I'm going to be making with the letter Y, which is the letter that I was assigned to. But to play along with the other crafters, I need to print more. And I haven't been able to. So I'm using what I have available at the moment. Okay, so let me see. If I want it this way. Or this way. I think I want it this way. So I'm gonna round these corners here. Let me see if I if I can because you know what? Let me use I'm gonna use this one, the Cropodia corner chomper, and I'm gonna do scallop. Which one? So let me shop here at this corner here. Because I'm not gonna be able to round it with the regular one. I didn't measure this, but it's a little bit smaller than my envelope. So my envelope was, uh, what was, um, the size is five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So it's a little bit small. It has to be smaller than, a little bit smaller than your envelope. So now I'm gonna glue this down. Make sure that this is all the way and level up, level, level it. And I'm gonna glue it. I'm just gonna use my glue gun. put too much glue but we're gonna remove it with this this is really really nice this is like silicone
Okay, let me see. Let's see. So that's the way it's gonna look. You can do a notch here and here, but I don't think, well, maybe I will. I don't know, I will think about it. I'll do a notch here and my edges need Need to glue them down better. Let me see. From my other side, I think that's good now. Making sure that all my edges I glue down my paper is glued down to the end on the edges. So this is my side for journaling. Um on her um Bella used uh another piece of the paper from the kit. But I just wanted to use some, you know, have some journaling space. <laughs> okay, so let me work on my window for a moment, my pocket. And I had this um, acetate. I got this, let me see if I had the package here. This is what I'm using, clear lay film. It brings four sheets on the size eight and a half by 11. And I just cut a piece from there. That's what I'm gonna use for my window. Maybe quick before my glue dries. That's my window. Let me let me trim it. And I know that, let me show you, that I can cover that, for example, and just use the window there, and then have my card, you know, glue the paper to my card, and my card comes like that. But I just wanted to use this here, and then my card just gonna be this recipe card, and it's gonna go, you know, I didn't want, let me see how I explain it to you. I didn't want it to this be like a piece that you remove from here and then you had this on the, on the bottom. I just wanted to keep it like this because I wanted to do like a different, like it's like a collage. You know that you can see the difference on the paper and all that. So that's my idea, but you can, just use it like this, and then glue your um, uh, the this paper to your journaling card, and you know go in and out. It's up to you, but you know. I just wanted to keep this without moving from my window, but it's up to you what you know how you want it.
I wonder if I should use my glue gun. Well, let me see if this glue will work. Maybe I will reinforce it with just a little bit of my glue gun. I hope I make sense when I'm saying that I don't want this from my window, you know, to be a removable piece. I want that to be there all uh, the, the whole time. I don't want to um, to, to be, I'm sorry, removable. You know what I mean? But you can do, you know, that you can, um, you can do the, like I told you, you know, and you can move this piece and then when you place your pocket there, you're only gonna see what is underneath. But I don't wanna do that. And I just trim in this. So if I'm off camera, I didn't, wasn't paying attention. So for this, I'm gonna use, let me make sure that this is real good, you no know, glue. Good to my edges. Let me get my double sided tape here. Making sure it's not upside down. Now we're gonna attach our pocket to the front. work. Let me make sure that this paper is so there's my journaling card. Press this down. Here's my journaling card. And then let's see, I have some flowers here. If we see this on, I think it, it wasn't a swap, I think. I think they're called lovely flowers or something like that. Hard for me to say that word. So let's see what I want. I think I like this, this. They are made with on um, book pages. Kind of like this, but maybe this one. Let me put this inside first.
I don't know, you're, oh, yeah, but I kind of like that. I think I like this flower here. And then let's see what, what else do we have here from the collection. This is not from the collection, but let me see. Kind of like that, let's see. I kind of like this composition here. So let's go with this on this one. This is just a washi sticker. I think I got this at Amazon, if I'm not mistaken. I think I may need to reinforce my pocket here a little bit. I think that's better. Okay, so let's keep going with this. It's glued down, but I want to move it a little bit more to the side. Do you think I really like it? Um, I don't know if I want a saying, I'm gonna like it. Let me see. So I think. Just making sure there's a piece of paper here that need to be attached better. So let me see if I can use this glue here. Perfect. Then let me see if I want to add anything else. No, I think I want it like this. I found this on a thrift store and 
I just grab it. I don't think that I'm gonna do anything on the back. Just bear with me for a moment and just, before I move on, I'm just, you know, seeing if I wanna add anything else. No, I don't like that ribbon there. Maybe I should have put this here before I put the flower, but I'm not gonna do it like that. I think I'm good enough with what I have here. I kind of like it like this. Make sure that you glue your, not your glue, your paper good to the edge. Let me see if I don't need to do anywhere else. I think it's good. I had this little pocket here. No, I kind of like that this. Just to decorate this a little bit. I kind of like that. No, 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 no. Trying to see if I want to add anything else before. Kind of like the heart. Let me see something. I don't know why. It's Like my car get stuck 
inside. I don't know why because everything is glued down. I'm trying to see if I have something. I feel nothing there. I think if I add something here, it will take from this. So I'm not gonna add anything there, but I think I like this heart here with the bow. Yeah, I don't like it. I want this to be journaling space. So let's go with this. I'm not gonna think about it too much. Because I know me, if I think about it too much, we will be here all day. Just gonna distress it a little bit because it's too white for my liking. So now it look better like a beige color. That's perfect, let me show it to you there. Our heart with, you can see it. It's, it's like a bow, a lace bow. I don't think that I'm gonna do anything else to this. Um, This one say make today beautiful. Let me see if I wanna use some of this. like this maybe here like that I think I like it here in the middle or what do you think here or here I don't know I kind of like it there in the middle I was thinking here to balance this, something here and then something here, like that maybe. I kind of like it like this. I'm gonna go with it, but let me distress it first. I 
really need another brown ink. I really like that so what do you think you see if I I forgot to distress this um, leaf here and those white edges are driving me crazy so there it look better now let me remove some of this glue strings here Okay, let me see if I don't have any more. Okay, so this is the front. And the back, you can add anything in the back if you want, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Let me see if I can be in frame here. Then you have your journaling card here. Could do something here, but no, I don't want to take. But I may add keep calm. Let me see, it is well with my soul, sunshine in my soul. Maybe keep growing. I think I'm gonna go with it is well with my soul. Gonna cut this extra piece, extra paper here. Trying to see which one I like better. I think we are done. After I glue this down, we are done. I love these tickets. They're stickers. And I got the, those um, on Amazon too. These are stickers. I like that. So let's glue this down. Stick this down because this is a sticker.
Let me move some things out of the way. Okay, so this is it. It is well with my soul. So pretty, this paper. And I don't think I want to add anything else. I was thinking these flowers so, to make it more like, I don't know, but I don't think I want to get anything, you know, add more stuff and take away from my paper, but maybe here in the back so it don't look that plain. I think that's enough, good enough. We don't wanna mess it up, but I really like that there. Let me trim just this piece of my bow. Okay, so this is our pull out, pull out card. It is well with my soul. We have this. The journal in space in the back. And then we have our journaling card here. Look how pretty. I really like it how it turned out. Sorry, my ring light <laughs> there, but I think you can see it there. And then this is our back. Simple in the back. So this is it for this video. Uh, I hope that you have enjoyed um, this project and my interpretation of, you know, Abella's um, alter envelope pull out pull pull out card envelope or alter envelope, and that you have enjoyed this, please. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to go to each channel and subscribe. Don't forget to participate on the giveaway and get the freebies. I will leave all the links below. Thank you for watching everyone. Happy crafting.